Hi there, everybody. We're continuing our lunch lessons seri series here on Cook's Corner. We're joined by uh, Emily Murphy from the Chichester Central School. Thank you for Hi. being here, first yes, of all. Thank you. So you got all kinds of stuff here. What are we going to make today? Uh, today we're going to be making carrot zucchini bars. Okay. Um, we get most of the products from a local farm. That's the recipes that I brought today. I brought a couple other recipes to show as well. So where do you get it from? Which farm? Uh, Gould Hill Farm oh, in nice. Hopkinton. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Local products. Yes. How do we make it? Uh, well, first we're going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Okay. I can do that. And then we're going to spray a pan with nonstick cooking spray. Do you want to do that? Okay. <laughs> you trust me to do that? Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. Got it. Um, and then we're going to start by mixing all the wet ingredients together. So this is scrambled eggs with some vanilla. And then we're going to add the sugar. A little sweetener in there, okay. Yeah, a little bit. Um, we're going to add some oil. And we're just going to whisk all those together. And this is a healthy recipe, a good size recipe. It, it is. Yep, it makes about 20 bars. Um, it's a whole grain. It follows all the USDA requirements for school lunches and snacks. Of course, the idea you want to have healthy food for the kids and stuff that they'll eat. So. Stuff that they'll eat. So anything that we typically bake with our local ingredients, the kids love. Okay. So we make like pumpkin bars, we make like applesauce oh. muffins, all kinds of things like that. So now we're going to fold in our shredded carrots and zucchini. Okay. I'm just going to fold them into the mix. Put those together. You ever have kids say, well, I, I took this home to mom or dad and said, hey, I want to make this at home, too. Yes. Okay. Actually, we have that quite often, and I get uh, emails from parents asking for recipes. Oh, nice. uh, one of the recipes that I brought today that's out here on display, the kale chips. Okay. I've gotten quite a few emails from parents for those. So um, also I have out there our hummus and veggie sticks, which parents ask a lot for hummus. I've heard of those. Recipes. These are pretty easy to make at home, right? Very easy yeah. to make. Okay, so now we're going to add all our dry ingredients. This has our baking powder, our salt, um, and our flour. It also has a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg, and we're just going to add that. Okay. And again, we're just going to fold the ingredients together. We had some flour go somewhere. I'm going to stand back. Yeah. <laughs> my $8,000 suit here. Uh oh. <laughs> I don't have an apron on either. <laughs> so. Okay. So once they're all incorporated, then you're just going to dump them into your cooking pan. Okay. And yeah. you're going to bake them for about 20 minutes. That's pretty easy. And yes. So when you have these, we have a final product over there, which is what it looks like after it's yes. done. Do the kids eat these? How do they respond to this? Yes. We'll serve them for. Um, breakfast as a bar or we'll also serve them um, on the lunch which like I said anything that's baked the kids typically like love whoops right. making a little bit of a mess here right, let's wrap it up we gotta wrap it up okay. here it's Emily Murphy from the Chichester Central School great ideas right there and again how long will you cook that for once you get uh, about 20 minutes okay easy done right yep all right that does it for us